On some occasions, I'll get comments on my YouTube videos saying things like, I wish I had better teammates, or I hate my teammates and myself. It can sometimes get really frustrating or demotivating when you feel like you're doing everything in your power to win, but you still end up getting loss after loss. Back when I was grinding the game in Splatoon 2 to get better, I used to think that I was the one making all the right decisions and the reason I lost was because of my teammates. If only I had better teammates, I would win. While sometimes it might be your teammates' fault, sometimes it's important to self-reflect and see what you could have done better. Rather than wishing you had better teammates, become the better teammate. There's a lot of ways to improve in Splatoon. Are you aiming well? Are you keeping calm and not tilting in a match? Do you understand the role of your weapon in a team composition? And are you putting yourself in relevant positions? These are all basic questions that can help you improve in the game. So in this video, I'll be reviewing a couple of games explaining my thought process. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and like the video. By liking, it helps with exposing this video on YouTube, and if you found it helpful, maybe another person will as well. With that out of the way, let's get started.
If you made it towards the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, but I also want to provide additional help because I want to treat it as a gift for you for supporting me. If you noticed throughout the gameplay, I was pointing out my mistakes. Big reason why I chose these games is because they were not perfect. There were times where I was critically analyzing what I was doing and questioning my decision making in the games. This is to tell you that you have to be able to critically analyze your games whether you win or whether you lose. Rather than deflecting towards your teammates of what they could have done, which is out of your control sometimes, look at what you're doing within the game correctly or incorrectly because that's within your control. I think being able to critically analyze yourself is what's going to take you far in this game. It helped me and I'm pretty sure it can help you.